Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to Garage Fish Keeper TV. This is your uh, friend Guso in Facebook and welcome to my blog. So family, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today's vlog, uh, I'd like to share for you what I'm uh, planning to do right now. We have a new project coming right now. Uh, actually, we're going to try some breathing. And before that breathing, we uh, prepare this 100 gallon tank. My previous 100 gallon tank. As you can see in my previous vlog, this 100 gallon tank before is full of SRTs and some hybrids and some uh, gravels and some hiding space with uh, clay pots and some uh, plastic plants and everything. But today's vlog, I'd like to share for you what some, one of my uh, projects doing now is a breeding. So before I did this uh, cleaning, this 100 gallon tank, I prepared some uh, uh, trickle filter for this project. So for the breeders, it's going to be uh, good for them when uh, transfer them here and to uh, make it, make it uh, help to successfully uh, induce their breathing process, my breathing project as well. So we have three, three layers of trickle filter here, which is, uh, I believe it's like 120 centimeters, something like that. Uh, it's a four feet and consists of uh, nine uh, uh, trickle box with uh, some uh, biological, mechanical, and uh, some, some ceramic rings, bio balls, and some, uh, some uh, mixture of uh, uh, filters, all right? So this one is uh, with aluminum heavy duty uh, base stand, and there's uh, two two uh, tube or uh, two outlet with the sprinkle and I use uh, aqua speed for this project with a hundred gallon tap which is uh, 25 watts and I already uh, conditioned this water for two days and I put we just put some uh, clay pot for spawning the eggs and if you notice I have a base here with the wood it's actually I don't put or in, input on my uh, on my uh, video uh, yesterday I, uh, I actually uh, did this with a 2x4 uh, wood and a curb here on this side so to make it balance because this this area is like a slanting so just to make it balance, I curve this a little bit and make it exactly what it was I want to do for labeling the uh, the filter. So for me, as you can see over here, this is the uh, preparation of the thumb for the new fish that I will transfer over there. And lately, will you, you will see uh, you will see the new fish that's going over there and. First of all, I transfer some water from the old, uh, old tank on the fish and this is my uh, magic basin. It's a DIY pot basin that actually we using for a long time and it's from the, the fridge, from the old fridge. So we're going to put some water over here. Hopefully it's going to fit my mail here and then transfer here to acclimate them. All right, so first of all, we're gonna check out the, the fish. We're gonna do uh, some catching fish right now on the tank, on my uh, 75 gallon tank. This tank is uh, actually, uh, it's a uh, condition, but it's uh, all water. And we're just reducing water and then put some water every week. And actually this uh, fish over here is like a year that uh, we don't touch the fish. So 
it's been a while. So actually this uh, two fish here, I put it in a... I put it in a... 75 gallon tank with the divider. So this is the first fish that we have. You can see over here. Just uh, let me know uh, for those who are there. Just let me know if you have a idea if what kind of uh, vieja is this. Put the write the section down below comment. As you can see, it's very beautiful vieja from the breeder that I bought this. They said it's a male, and let me let me find out if this is a male because we're gonna put in uh, transfer on the hundred gallon tank and we're gonna try to uh, breed this uh, monster fish. Okay. So checking is a good help. No sign of uh, illness in the body. And right now we're gonna acclimate. And hopefully it's gonna fit over here. <coughs> now expect from the splashing water is gonna come out on this uh, this thing when we uh, transfer him on this uh, container tank, container basin. for the uh, meal breeder so we're going to the tier 2 which is the female we're gonna catch him catch her and we're gonna check her condition this one is a proven female because why I say it's proven female because uh, actually she laid eggs type many times already You can see we have a nice beautiful female over here over here and just checking the texture of the scales and everything no head hole and everything all the all right she's on the good condition I can say it's a good condition the eye is good everything is good Right, which is uh, for her size, I am using this uh, kind of container. Uh, it's also from uh, my previous bridge. Pick it up. I'm not sure if uh, how you call this plastic thing, but if you know how you call this plastic, you can write down in your comment below so we can talk about if this is the like it's a hard plastic. side just to put them like 10 to uh, 10 to 15 minutes so we we'll see you guys after 10 to 15 minutes just to acclimate them my uh, air pump or 
how you call this uh, erator. All right. So we'll be back. Now we're going to uh, tier three, which is uh, releasing the fish, the breeders on this tank. And we're going to put a little bit of uh, water from the tank. That of splashing is going on again. Here. So the female, it's like uh, more than a year or two years old, and it's a proven uh, egg layer. And the male, when I got him, it's like maybe it's like 10 inch already, and my estimation is like two or three years old on this fish, on this uh, vieja, basically. So family, if you just passed by, I'm watching my video, and if you like this kind of video that I'm, I'm, I make, please uh, just give us some thumb, thumb likes, share my video, and especially uh, consider to subscribe, so I can get more uh, confidence to make another video for you. And uh, thank you so much for uh, passing by. This is your friend Buso in Facebook. And hope that you like our video. And I will keep update for you how I condition, how I feed them, and what I'm doing on this breeding project. Thank you so much. This is your friend Buso in Facebook. Thank you and see you next time. Thank you.